Hi Scorpio, welcome to your June Love Tower reading. So Scorpio, we're going to be looking at whatever you need to know, whatever's going on in love for you at this time. So please do keep that in mind. We're just opening this up to whatever you need to know regarding love. All right, Scorpio. So we have the Power of Love Oracle card here, uh, Oracle deck. So we're going to get some opening messages with this. We have the Chrysalis Tarot. Chrysalis, I always say it's Chrysalis Tarot. <laughs> and we'll do your reading with that. And then we have the Butterfly Oracle, which I think all these three are for you. I'm going to get you one more uh, for some ending messages too. So welcome in Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tower. All right, Scorpio, so let's see what your opening messages are. I'm going to jump right into the tarot and see what's going on. Past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Okay. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and, feel, and freely and lovingly embrace new situation. Some spontaneous energy coming in here. Let's see. Creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination and friendliness you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections i kind of feel like i thought this was going to have to do with maybe um something with your past but i kind of feel like this is um maybe a friend that you've had in your life for a very long time or you could be reconnecting um a, to a friendship from the past that may turn into a love relationship because this is about love and it could have to do with something uh, creative. So maybe if you're doing something creative, you may be reconnecting with someone to either help you or you're reconnecting through something creative, whatever that means. Um, and it's going to be very like out of the blue and spontaneous. And uh, that's kind of what I feel here. So, I mean, whatever this creativity means, it could be, it could be literally anything. Um, or it could just mean that maybe you're very creative, they're very creative. Maybe it has something to do with the arts. Maybe you may run into them at a concert, an art show, or something creative, too. It could be something like that. But I do feel like there's a spontaneous reconnecting to a past friend, something revolving around creativity in some way, shape, or form, or somebody is. And this could lead to re this reconnection leading to a new love relationship. It's kind of what I feel. Now, right away, if you're saying, uh, Scorpio, well, there's no one from the blah, 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 then maybe it's not your reading. Um, I don't know. So take it as you will. But if any time you feel like it's not your reading, it's totally fine. You just leave it for someone else. You could also check out other readings on the channel. You know, they should be all considered timeless. It's just when the messages come out. So, you know, if this doesn't resonate, feel free to browse the channel if you'd like to. All right, Scorpio. Let's see. Right, so we've got the Chrysalis Tarot here. We're going to see what you need to know. We've got two cards popping out already. Oh my gosh. So we do have the Queen of Swords and the Lovers here. So what away, right away, what I get with this is that the King and the Queen of Swords of the deck are the people, I don't want to say couple because sometimes it could be about people who are divorced or they've been through a lot or they're widowed or something like that. Two people here that maybe uh, have experienced a lot in life, been through a lot in life, um, maybe divorces and things like that. And now we have the connection here. So I don't think this is reconnecting to somebody like you've divorced or had a relationship or anything like that. This is someone that you do know, but um, maybe somebody went through a lot here. It could be you, it could be them, it could be the both of you. But there's a connection here being made with the lovers too. Oh, interesting, Scorpio. All right, so let's see what else do we need to know here for Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Swords in Reverse. That could be a little bit of a stuck energy or maybe something re-entering your life. And the Wheel of Fortune. So it's fate, it's destiny, it's divine timing, something meant to be. Luck, growth, expansion. I think there's been a lot of self-investment and a lot of maybe feeling a little stagnation in your life. Um, but something's meant to be here. It's meant to enter your life at this time. I, feel, I don't feel like it's... Um, like someone returning, I don't think, 
I don't know how to say this. It's not like a lover returning or anything like that, but someone is returning back into your life. But I feel like it's more on a friendship level. Seven of pen Pentacles can be very platonic. Uh, it can be about work. Pentacles can be about work, friends, and things of that nature, family. But I feel like there's been a lot of um, self investment and also maybe a little bit of a stagnation maybe in your love life. But I feel like something coming back into your life is meant to be now. And I feel like maybe, you know, you lost track of each other and maybe you've both been through a lot in your life and now it's like, here's the reconnection with the lovers. And now reconnecting, but it's like, I mean, maybe years have gone by, whatever. Uh, this could be someone that you knew in high school, maybe at your first job, and maybe it was just a friendship or whatever. Um, and now it's like a whole different scenario. So we do have here uh, Libra, Gemini. We are heading into Gemini season. Um, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Definitely endings here. Justice. I mean, you both may be divorced, but now this is soul contracts, things meant to be, past lives. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order. Six of Cups. Yeah, there's a return. There's a return, but it's in an exciting new way. And the King of Wands. So you may see, um, you know, maybe this person looks totally different than the last time you've seen them. And now, while this person isn't too attractive, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But the King of Wands is about fire, passion, attraction, chemistry. And now it could be like a whole different scenario where, you know, we've changed. We've been through a lot. The chemistry is different. The, the attraction is different. Um, it's like a whole different, like meeting a whole new person, a whole different person now. Wow, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, let's see what else do we need to know. Scorpio, June love. Scorpio, let's see. Let's see. Scorpio, please. What else do we need to know? The Queen of Pentacles. Justice again. Am I going to get repeaters? Always does that to me. The King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. The Five of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. So we do have balance here. I'm kind of feeling like... Um, because we do have the king and the queen of pentacles, two people who are a match. But I feel like the energies have to play out for us for the two of you to come together f to make it happen. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. But we do have balance coming into play here. Recipro I don't want to say reciprocation because I don't feel like this was... I don't really feel like it was a missed opportunity or uh, unrequited love or anything like that. Um... But definitely, I feel like here, maybe one of you has been divorced and maybe one of you never been married or whatever the case may be. But um, something is about to play out here with the Justice card and two people who are a match this time are finally going to come together as that match they're meant to be now, where in the past maybe you were just meant to be friends, you were just meant to be co-workers. Um, maybe there were no romantic feelings, no romantic interest back then just you know the platonic the friendship the core whatever it was but this time around it's much different and you're not probably not going to see this coming either so i won't I, I won't be shocked here if we get like the tower uh like the moon or the high priestess where it's things that maybe we ne we don't see coming shows up that will kind of indicate that and even maybe like the uh, Knight of Swords or something. But let's see, we do have here Capricorn, Libra, Virgo. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, well, we do have the Tower in reverse. Hmm. Tower, it could be a slow change. Or something we see coming, but it's taking time to get here. But I'm not really feeling that. This is a slow change. This is a slow change that had to ha happen over time for the energies to be right for now, for you to both come together at the perfect time perfect time in life for this now to be a romantic connection death so i definitely feel like you both experienced a lot of changes in your life a lot of transformational changes 
definitely here in the star which dream coming true divinely guided energy things meant to be balance and healing definitely in the four of wands you probably both have been married but here's a page of pentacles so hmm this could be some kind of offer or something like that some of you may do something regarding something creative that may earn you a little bit of money if maybe through this creative thing you reconnect with this person i don't know how that's going to happen but i keep getting like that message so i don't know what that means and it could be something you're doing as a group uh or maybe it's something on social media or something like that and you join a group or something and you're like oh my god they're part of this group and you reconnect and like oh my god i haven't seen you know he seen or heard or talk to you in years and you kind of reconnect could be it, it sounds kind of specific so you're gonna have to take it out resonates for you all right because it's starting to come i feel very uh detailed and specific sometimes that happens um so anyway all right scorpio so let's see what else do we need to know here scorpio what else do we need to know here tell me more about what justice is bringing in here for scorpio in this connection two of wands a new path opening up here choice is going to have to be made magician so the path is opening up for a new beginning so it probably hasn't happened yet for some of you devil hmm i don't like that the world maybe someone's in the uh, process here of closing out a very toxic cycle in their life and maybe once that is complete it could be you it could be them you may not have may have no clue but i feel like once someone completes this toxic cycle or chapter in their life then this path will open up page of swords you could actually like i said that could be um online communications or contact or connection or something like that so you may run into this person or reconnect with this person online or social media and it starts out the conversation and talking once again and you're like oh my gosh they may tell you a little bit if they are going through something uh they may start telling you about you know things they've been going through in life maybe just be starting to talk online and oh this is what happened last so and so years and uh, this happened that happened and you know just i feel like maybe talking a lot and at the same time it's going to open up this new path for the two of you so we do have gemini virgo capricorn leo Chris, taurus scorpio aquarius ten of swords definitely something here about endings but it's bringing two people together here the temperance angel patience healing balance a divine alchemy the perfect time it's all contracts past life two of swords i feel like there's going to be quick decision here for wish fulfillment happiness and joy very single energy and two of pentacles again about making a decision uh needing to find balance and making a decision so i feel like someone may have a lot going on right now with the two of pentacles but definitely with the empress here i'm definitely feeling like seeing each other in a new way and a lot has changed but i think it's because you know you probably haven't talked to them or seen them in a very long time and in, i get two people that are going to look very very different and the attraction is going to be different this time well i don't think there was any attraction in the past but this time there definitely is going to be attraction definitely all right scorpio so let's see we're going to do a little bit more here and see what's going on scorpio what else do we need to know ten of swords showing up again the hermit in reverse somebody's going to know exactly what they want and they're not going to be afraid to say what they want i feel someone's not going to keep to themselves that's for sure <laughs> seven of swords yeah someone's definitely going through a lot of betrayal right now nine of pentacles but becoming single independent and the four of pentacles stability foundation so somebody may be saying you know i've been through a lot of negative bad things but i'm you know they may be single and independent already or they're well on their way and they could be in a little bit of self-protection you know stability foundation mode or holding back just a little bit romantically so it may restart as a friendship but i definitely see this going down the road of romance i mean we did have temperance showing up here um right on the bottom of the deck so i'm saying so we got virgo showing up 
Queen of Cups definitely is about falling in love. That could be a Scorpio. Technically, it's Cancer for me, but that could be you. Hangman. Pause. Reflection. You know, thinking about the whole reconnection here. Then something moving forward very quickly. Very quickly. Positive movement forward. You know, maybe feeling at times a little overwhelmed, especially when we think back in the past, or maybe just feeling like the overwhelming reconnection to this person in a whole different way. And something solid is going to happen um, out of this reconnection, I feel. And what is that? It's a brand new beginning in love. I kind of said that. And we do have courting, dating, getting to know. Just saying. And oh my God, the two of cups behind it. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It was the three wands behind that, which could be in the very, very near future. All right. If it is um, resonating, please do leave me a comment. Let me know. Give it a thumbs up. All the great things. Be greatly appreciated. All right, Scorpio, we're going to see one more line, see what else you need to know. Then we're going to get to the Butterfly Tower uh, Oracle and see what messages that has for you. So what else do we need to know here for Scorpio? Scorpio, let's see. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. So that could be about, you know, the reconnection happened, but taking our time, you know. So it may not be that feeling of, um, love right away, needing to rush in and rush in, rush in because, oh my God, this person and I love this person. This could be a very slow moving energy too with the Knight of Swords in Reverse. It's kind of like the Knight of Pentacles upright. But then we have the Knight of Wands. Hmm, there's the Fire, Passion, Attraction. Three of Swords. I don't like that. Hierophant in Reverse. And the Moon in Reverse. Huh. Someone definitely here could be divorced, been through a lot of heartbreak here with the Three of Swords. But the moon about seeing, you know, seeing things clearly, though. You may not see this coming, how this turns around. But I also feel like someone's been through a lot of heartache, pain, maybe divorce. When I get the heart front reverse, I kind of feel that. Um, we got two very contradictory energies here because the Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy out of the blue. Um, and then the Knight of Wands, but it's in reverse, which is more like the Knight of Pentacles, very slow. But then the Knight of Wands is kind of fast, too, where going after what we want, making it happen. Six of Wands. We do have success, victory here. And the Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. So we saw the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So do we have the Ace of Swords? No. Let's see what's on the bottom. Three of Wands, happening in the very, very near future. Sun's going to be very happy. Positive movement forward, success, victory, balance. Hey, man, you know, it's okay to take your time. Queen of Cups showing up again. All these cards showing up again. So, let's see, we have Aquarius, Sag, Taurus, Pisces. So, in the very near future here, Scorpio. Um, I think there's going to be a little hesitation of, okay, let's take our time. But then it quickly turns into that attraction, fire, chemistry that we thought, of, you know, that we were talking of. And, you know, somebody may be a little hesitant because of their past heartache, pain, divorce, whatever. But then it's going to become very clear here with the moon reverses like the sun upright, which we did see um, of this like new opportunity with this person in like a whole new way. And just kind of going for it could definitely be happening in the very, very near future with the three ones there, just saying. We do have the wheel up there, so something is fate and destined um, as well. All right, Scorpio. So I'm going to get some butterfly messages, see what else you need to know. Also, Scorpio, I do have a website listed below. There you can find my merch, all my socials, my store if you want to shop for yourself. My wish list if you do want to send me something uh, or whatever, you know, you can check it out. If not, totally fine. So that is below. So let's see, Scorpio. Realizations and epiphanies. Wow, yeah. Okay, what else? Leaving. Yeah, somebody is leaving things behind. I think you both left a lot behind in your life. But once you reconnect and, you know, like, oh, let's catch up, you know, and on a friend, maybe just friendship level, but I think you're going to quickly realize and have the epiphany here that this time around it's it's going to be more uh romantic retirement you both could be mature you know maybe 
um, definitely leaving things behind no longer serving with a retirement card there. I definitely felt that too. It doesn't have to be like a literal retirement from a job. It could just be ending of something, retiring something that's no longer serving us. Um, definitely with the leaving in retirement or maybe some of you are more mature and at the age in our life where maybe we're retiring early or at the age of retirement um, where this is coming into play. Decisions, yeah, big, big decisions here, Scorpio. I felt that memory. So you may be thinking back on all the good times you've had with this person as well. Definitely here. And I think heavenly signs here, you're going to be shown the way. So really pay attention to that. And we do have pink here. And pink for me always indicates new love. So it feels like new love, but with a past person that was either just an old friend or coworker or something like that. This time in your life, it's going to be new love, definitely. All right, Scorpio, and we do have a lot of that energy here, which could be like those fiery, passionate, new love, deepening love energy as well. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.